What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today I'm going to be walking you through my Notability app, which is the best handwriting notes app on the iPad by far. I'm going to be walking you through all the notes that I've made here on the left hand side over the last three years. I'm going to show you how it is that I actually write these notes here in Notability and also show you some of the really cool new features, including this gallery, which is where you can share and upload your own notes to the community and you can download notes from the community into your own Notability as well. But anyways, we'll get into that later in the video. And a big thank you to Notability for sponsoring this video. You know, I've been endorsing Notability and telling pretty much anyone who asks me anything about the iPad to make sure they download it for about three years now. And so when they reached out to me and asked if they could sponsor one of my videos, I said, yes, absolutely. Let's get right into it. So one of the questions that I'd often get asked when making my old iPad and Notability videos, which I'll put somewhere up over here, is, is Notability worth the $9 or however much it costs? And I'd always say yes, because I think this app is worth its weight in gold, but you don't have to worry about that anymore because Notability is completely free. Seriously, if you have an iPad or an iPhone or a MacBook, download this app. It's been completely life-changing for me over the last few years, and now it's completely free. If you want all the extra features, then you can pay for an annual subscription, which is like $12 a year, which in my opinion is like infinite value. But anyways, that's it for the cost of the app. All right, now let's get into the app. So this is the icon over here. The new update just makes it look even better than it already did. But this is kind of what it looks like where on the left hand side, you have all of your folders, you can say. So each one of these little toggles is a folder, kind of the equivalent of one of these. This is a set of notes that I wrote over a four year period at the University of Toronto. It kind of looks like this on the inside, extremely, extremely dense, tons of uh, information in there. But anyways, one of those folders is kind of like this over here, let's say human development or supporting life. And then within each of those folders, I have different subjects. So I have cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease, one and two, anesthetics and drugs, renal disease. And then within those subjects, let's take cardiovascular disease. For instance, I have all of my different lecture notes, case-based discussions, tutorials, lecture slides, etc. within there. And this kind of demonstrates the first thing that I absolutely love about Notability and what I think has completely changed how it is that I take notes and store notes and review notes over time is this sort of organizational hierarchy where you have the big folder, then the subjects, then the notes within that. So it makes it really easy to find information that I did in my second year of medical school here, MBBS2. I'm now a final year medical student, so that was quite a long time ago, but Anyways, now the new update has allowed us to add dividers within dividers, which I cannot explain how excited I am for that. I've, I've wanted this in Notability for so long, but we'll get into that in a bit. Moving on before I get carried away, this is kind of what one of my typical lecture notes will look like. Now, before you leave me a comment down below, letting me know how messy my handwriting is, I know, but I can read it and that's all that matters. So I have kind of the title of the lecture here in the middle in light pink. And then I surround that in three columns of information. And each one of these columns will have different subheadings. So here we have the cardiac cycle and the ECG, and then underneath it, all the information that's relevant to that subtitle. As you can see, I use a ton of colors to sort of signify and denote different types of information, things that have come up on previous exams that are likely to come up, important information, lists. You know, I have a whole color coding system. I'll leave a link to a video that I did about that up over here, but this is kind of what one of my lecture notes looks like. So this over here on the left, MBBS2, are all the notes that I made in my second year of medical school. And then MBBS3 is all the notes I made in my third year of medical school, etc, etc. Now what you'll notice if you look into my notes is that I tend to use a lot of images, I tend to take a lot of lecture slides or door diagrams, and I annotate them. And this was one of those things that was a complete life changer for me when it came to taking notes at university. Using Notability, I could really easily take this image from one of my lecture slides, copy paste it into my notes, and then annotate on top of it. This was just mind boggling coming from a laptop with just a keyboard and a screen where something like this would have been impossible. And since I'm a really visual learner, as you can probably tell by how, how I have everything organized here uh, on the page, you know, this type of studying, this type of learning was really beneficial for me. And just to demonstrate how easy this is, let's go to one of my lecture slides over here. Let's say I want to copy this image, open up the lasso tool, make it a square, copy, use this note switcher to go back to the note that I was just at, find a blank space, paste. And there we go. So now I can have this image inside of my lectures, then I can annotate and say that this over here is the classic butterfly rash seen in SLE. Something else you can do is take images directly from the internet. So let's say I wanted to Google an image of <laughs> not cats like I have over there. Let's say I wanted to Google something like lupus rash. And then I can take any of these images and literally drag and drop them straight from Google into my note taking app. Can we just appreciate this for a second? This is 
mind boggling. And I used to do this all the time back when I was sitting down in lectures and taking my lecture notes. I found this extremely, extremely helpful. Anyways, I think that's enough of me showing you my notes. We'll take a look at some more later on in the video. So last year when I was studying for the big USMLE step one exam, I took an infinite amount of notes and I would not wish this level of studying upon anyone. So as part of studying for this exam, I had to learn a whole bunch of drugs and kind of what categories they fall into, what mechanisms of actions they have, whatever. And this is kind of how I would organize them. So I had sketchy medical farm was the big folder. And then within that the subject of cardiovascular and renal. So the heart and the kidneys, because I couldn't make another subdivider, I had 1.0 was heart failure drugs. And so we had 1.1, 1.2, those were both related to heart failure. Then 2.0 was diuretics, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4 were all related to diuretics. But now with the dividers within dividers, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna make another divider and I'm gonna call it cardiovascular and renal. So now I can add a subject into cardiovascular and renal and we can call that one heart failure. Move that down here. And so now I can move all of these heart failure notes into the heart failure subheading. Oh, I've been waiting years for Notability to include this. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So then to organize the rest of these notes, I can of course include another subject and we will call that one diuretics. Move that into cardiovascular and renal. Move diuretics, loop diuretics, thiazides, and potassium sparing diuretics as well. So now within cardiovascular and renal, I have all those different subjects. Let's just finish this off for OCD sake. All right, all done. So now I can remove cardiovascular and renal that I had here as a big subject and I have a cardiovascular and renal divider. And then when I open that up, I can see the only heart failure drugs over here, diuretics, antihypertensives, and antiarrhythmatics. Amazing. Now I definitely need to do that for all of these other subfolders that I have over here. There's tons and tons of notes that I need to go through, but we'll leave that for another time. But honestly, thank you Notability. This is gonna make my organizational structure of these notes even better. I forgot to mention that the more I used Notability and the more I started to store my notes over here, I actually went back in time to my handwritten notes and I scanned them and I put them on my iPad because I'm never gonna look through a folder like this. It's just, it's never gonna happen. And even if I did, I would never find the information I want. Like just look at this writing. The fact that I could take handwritten notes like this and convert it into a nice organized systematic structure, MBBS year two, human development, endocrinology, fertility, pregnancy. And then if you click on each one of these, we have lecture 16, then we have lecture 17, over here, you know, this makes it way easier to find the information that I actually need. Anyways, I mean, over the years that I've been using this iPad, I've written 1,053 notes. Honestly, some crazy, crazy stuff in this iPad have become very close over the years. This is 32 pages of notes that look like this. I've, I've, I've written a lot of notes on this iPad. And honestly, if I had written them on paper, a, I would have probably lost them, but B, I could have never organized them in as good of a way. Anyways, that's enough of this. One thing that I really want to show you guys, which has been incredibly helpful for me, is being able to search your notes or control F all these notes. So again, I have 1,053 notes over here, like literally endless, endless pages. They might as well be. So let's say I wanted to search all of my notes for something like tuberculosis. So it'll search all my notes and show me the ones that contain or are about tuberculosis. We can do the same thing with something like hepatitis. And again, all the notes where I've written or talked about hepatitis will come up right here. Now this is incredibly powerful and I cannot explain the amount of times that I have done this. When I'm in the hospital on the wards and someone mentions some condition or illness that I haven't heard about in a couple of months and I've forgotten everything about, I'll open up my phone, open Notability and search for it and go find my written notes about that exact topic. Now think about trying to do that in a folder like this. Literally impossible. How am I gonna find tuberculosis in this massive folder? This is physiology, what is this clonal selection, whatever. It's never gonna happen. And the fact that I can search for these notes on my iPad, on my phone, or on my computer, wherever I am in the world is just absolutely insane. All right, now let's talk about the Notability Gallery because I think this is really cool and I honestly think it's gonna change how it is we study as a community. So if you click this little button up here in the top right, this is the new Notability Gallery and you can go through and search four notes that other people have written on the things that you're studying, which is just crazy to think about. So let's see what we've got over here. We've got some notes about chemistry, benzenes, 
That looks way neater than I would ever be able to do it. Let's download that, put it in Notability. Oh, cranial nerves. This is not in English, so I'm not gonna be able to understand anything. I think it's in Spanish. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for, for all you guys who, who speak this language to, to use, but it's gonna be useless for me. Scrolling through, we have the, some ophthalmology and liver. Does, does Notability know that I'm a medical student? I feel like there's a lot of medical content here. Okay, cool, so before you even download it, you can open it up and have a look inside. Wow, these are putting my notes to shame. Feel a little bit embarrassed, but whatever. Anyways, you can download the note from here, which I think we've already done. So let's go find it in Notability. So now I have the note that I just downloaded that somebody else made in my own Notability. And I can go on top of this and I can annotate. What's this? It's an accessory gland. If we wanted, we could also, for example, just black these out over here or block them out and then test ourselves. Say, okay, what is this? It's the falciform ligament, delete. Cool, it is, I'm right. So yeah, so now I've got someone else's notes in my own notability. I hate to admit this, but these notes do look a little bit neater and better than my own. Just a little bit, just a little bit, okay? I'll admit, I'll admit. But anyways, even if you don't want to study, if you're just looking for inspiration on starting a new project or you wanna relax and color something in or you want a to-do list or a planner, you can get that too over here. So let's search for planner and see what comes up. We've got this really neat looking thing over here. I can dive in and see what it's all about before I download it. Oh, that's cool. I like the use of that. We can check out another one. Nice, nice, good stuff. And let's say I just wanna color something in because I'm feeling bored and I wanna relax. Art, inspiration, templates, class notes, study materials. Let's see what's in art. This kind of looks like my drawing capabilities over here. This looks like it's way out of my league. Anyways, the point is there's a lot to choose from. And as I'm using this now, this whole thing is still in beta. By the time this video goes live and you guys have downloaded Notability and are going through this gallery section, it'll be populated with hundreds and hundreds of different notes. Let's look at class notes, chemistry, physics, quantum chemistry, anatomy of the nose, that sounds like it's right up my alley, physiology, acute, acute inflammation, I would like notes on that, yes please, I definitely need to review this after this video. So anyways, this gallery allows you to both share your own notes and also download other people's notes from the community. I think I should upload some of my own notes to the gallery. After this video, I'll make a little section and I'll upload some of the notes that I've written throughout medical school. So download Notability and go check them out. There's a couple other things that I want to mention about Notability that I've been using over the last three years and I found incredibly helpful that I want you guys to know as well. The first of which is that you have the app on your iPad, on your iPhone and on the Mac and they sync between the three pretty much immediately. So when I'm in the library taking notes, I have everything on my iPad. When I'm in the hospital, on the wards or in a clinic, I can easily access all those notes on my phone. And then when I'm sitting here at home studying and I'm doing things on my computer, I can just pull up the Mac app and have the Notability notes right over there. An additional benefit of this is that I can never lose my notes. No matter where I am in the world, no matter what device I'm on, I can always access them. And I'll never forget back at the University of Toronto, it was like a week before a really important exam. And I I lost one of these bundles of notes, something like this. I just couldn't find it and I lost weeks and weeks of work writing them and I was devastated. And to know that that can never happen to me again because I have them backed up on the cloud, on my Google Drive and on these three devices stored locally makes me feel very safe and very comfortable inside. One thing that I forgot to mention is how much customizability there is in this app. Within how you organize the notes, like I already showed you, and then within the notes themselves and with the sort of appearance of the app. So let's say I make this new note over here. I can completely change how it looks. So if we go to templates over here, I can make it a grid shape, I can make it dotted, I can change the color of the background. There's also these hexagonal grids which are useful for drawing those benzene structures that we saw a little bit before. There's engineering, manuscript, Tian Zeggi whatever that means or is used for. Kind of looks like graph paper to me. And then you can get creative and there's all kinds of things over here. And of course you can download a whole host of templates from that Notability gallery section as well. But anyways, let's just go with grid, this color over here. There you go. Got a completely different looking style. On top of that, if you go down to the settings, you can change the theme. You know, there's a light theme. I personally prefer the dark one. There's this jet black one, which I think is a bit too dark, but let's just stay with light. You can change all kinds of other settings over here that I'm not gonna get into, but the point is that you can customize the app to make it your own and make it beneficial for you. So one of the things that's really important to me with all of the note taking that I do is my ability to share my notes, share those notes with my friends or with myself. If you wanna share any of these notes, it's really, really easy. You literally just click the share button and then you have the ability to send it via email. You can upload it straight to Google Drive, which is what I have it doing automatically in the background so that I have them backed up somewhere. Via the share card here, you can do PDF and image, pretty much however you want. But with the ability to view all my notes using the app itself on the iPad, on the phone, and on my computer, 
computer, I found myself needing to share things less and less over time. And if you're like me and you have over a thousand notes and some of those notes that you've written have like tens and tens of pages, then this next feature that they just added in the new update is essential. And it's the ability to bulk manage your pages. So previously you only had this one page over here and you had to individually move all the pages or edit them. Now you can click select, you can select all, you can select some of them and you can just bulk manage, move them around, copy, duplicate, edit, I'm, I'm so happy that this is finally here. And honestly, I think that's everything that I wanted to show you about my notability, all the notes that I've taken in here and how I use it to organize my studying life. I hope you've been able to see in this video just how much I genuinely enjoy using this app and how much serious value it has added to my life over the three years that I've been using it. If you haven't already downloaded it, go to the link in the description down below and check it out. I really don't think you're gonna regret it. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and a big shout out to Notability for sponsoring this video. Video as well. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Plus.